Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use um, different sorts of materials as to do sort of like a, an e-wrap technique or a weave technique similar to the swatch here. Now, it is a very simple technique to do, but what uh, it is I want to show to you is how to sort of like combine chunkier materials on your standard gauge machine um, because a lot of people don't have access to standard um, sorry to chunky knit machines because they're a lot more expensive or for whatever reason but it's quite nice that you can actually do quite a bit uh, to get sort of that sort of effect you see so anyway so we are going to start off with um, obviously knitting a few rows and I've cast it on a bit um, using silver reed and my tension currently currently is on tension uh, six and i've got a few materials so i'll talk you through when i'm knitting so the first one i'm going to use is this really chunky tape yarn now i think so this yarn is the one that i've got i've got quite a few yarns i should be selling a few um but if you're interested in any like yarns that you'd like to buy that I'm using, please do let me know in the comments or email me or DM me on Instagram, anything. Okay, so we are going to be using e-wrapping technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward a selection of needles, okay? Now, because this yarn is quite chunky, um, the machine will will probably get jammed if I e-wrap it on all of the needles. So I've got to leave a bit of spacing in between each needle. So all I'm doing is placing the yarn between the first two needles and wrapping it anti-clockwise, okay? My left hand of finger sits underneath here to support that stitch. And I'm going to go, I'm just gonna push forward, I'm um, sorry, push three needles slightly to the back in between each of these needles to create like a layout, okay? So I'm e-wrapping on every fourth needle. So I'm going under the next needle and wrapping it anti-clockwise. So I'm gonna go ahead. So it's the same as your e-wrap cast on, but the only difference of course is that you're e-wrapping over your knit. I'm just gonna push all these needles out and knit across. So I'm knitting two rows at the moment and I'm going to go ahead and push forward every fourth needle again. So you can do a lot of layouts with this. Um, so I'll do a couple like different ones on this um, swatch. So I'm gonna e-wrap backwards. So this time your e-wrapping goes, it goes under the needle and clockwise, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and knit two rows. So I'm just going to repeat that once more and then you're wrapping anti-clockwise. Okay. Now what I'd really like to stress for this technique is I think a lot of people when they use e-wrapping they kind of use, they choose a thick yarn, say a four ply to knit the base with and then an even thicker yarn to do the ear wrapping with. So the end result then is quite, like not chunky, but very thick and quite like rug-like because of the, the tension and everything. So the best thing that I've found is to use a slightly finer yarn as a base and quite like a chunkier yarn to do the ear wrapping with. Now, if you don't have a chunky yarn, you can obviously use a few ends of a four ply or hand knit yarn so it's really up to you okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another tape yarn this is slightly thinner than the one that I've just used and I'm gonna push forward every fourth needle again and e-wrap here but I'm gonna do it so yeah but this time I'm going to do it on every row and then I'm going to push forward every fourth needle, but the ones that I didn't e-wrap on. Okay, so it, fall, it falls in the center of these sections. 
wrap backwards and this will give you a braid like effect can you continue to do that i missed one here but that's okay okay that's what you have here. Now the next material that I'm going to use is going to be these cut up strips of calico. So I absolutely love the effect you get when you cut different fabrics. Um, so in the swatch that I showed you, this one here, I've cut up, um, I think it was chiffon, um, and the frayed edges are just beautiful. So just try a different uh, materials. So I'm gonna push forward two, four, um, every, sorry, two, four, five, every sixth needle. So I like to have an odd number spacing just because of the braid effect that I like to do. So this time I'm going to go do the same, E-wrap. Um, and cross. I'm going to go ahead and push forward the center needles and e wrap backwards. Now, this does not seem to be fraying as much, but definitely try a few different fabrics, I would say. that's your fabric there. I've cut up different um, widths of the strips. So There's a slightly finer one. I'm going to go ahead and do the same. do every two rows. So I'm doing a random layout at the moment. Okay. Sorry, that's the wrong strip. Material I'm going to use is a bit of ribbon. You can also use wire, elastic, anything. So this time round, I'm going to do a weave pattern. Okay, so I'm going to push forward a selection of needles, those over and then under a few, over one and under a few. You can do different layouts again. I'm just doing um, this one here. And that's your weave. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do e-wrapping again and I'm going to do it two, four, six, seven. So one needle out, seven in, one out, seven in. Two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use the two ends to do the e-wrapping and all I'm doing is wrapping over these needles and I've got like about quite a wide gap in between the needles. And just continue like so. Sometimes it gets caught in the needle, so just fix it if it if it does. Um, push the needles forward if it does um, keep getting caught because it's easier for the yarn to pull through. And that's your e-wrapped swatch. So do you try out said um, a few different materials and um, trimmings you can use quite a lot on it actually so definitely experiment if you've got any questions or you know if you have tried something and want to let me know do feel free to comment or dm me email me anything um well follow me on instagram uh, find my website as well uh subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you next time